हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कोडिंग शिक्षा सो टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ टू यूज सेलेनियम इन पाइथन इन ऑर्डर टू ऑटोमेटिकली लॉग इन इन टू योर जीमेल अकाउंट सो दिस इज द पाइथन स्क्रिप्ट आई विल रन हेयर लेट्स सी द एंड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस एप्लीकेशन सो एज आई रन दिस एप्लीकेशन यू विल सी ए न्यू ब्राउजर इन टू पॉपन सो दिस विल ऑटोमेटिकली एंटर माई ई मेल एड्रेस एंड पासवर्ड and uh, then you can see that i am successfully logged in onto my gmail account so this is the overall functionality that we will be building in this tutorial so let's start the tutorial guys so this is this tutorial will be very interesting so first of all you have to download the selenium chrome driver onto your local machine so let me just tell you how to do so just go to google here and type here uh, selenium chrome driver download just type this and the first result which pops in just click this result and you can see that there are various kinds of download depending upon which version of chrome you are using so in order to check what version of chrome you are using you can use the site called as uh, uh, just write on google check was ver version of chrome so the first site which tells you just click this site and there is an alternative site you can see that here what is my browser.com so whenever you open this site it will tell you the version number i am using chrome 75 so so dependingly uh, you can see that i am using chrome version 75 so just click this in my case your case will be different so depending upon your operating system if you are using using linux mac or windows i am using windows so i will be downloading this zip file so i have i have already downloaded this zip file this after downloading this will be the zip file you extract it and then it contains the exe executable file for windows so just paste this file in the working directory of your application so and then you just open the uh, text editor favorite text editor of yours so let me delete all the code the, so the first line that you write in your python script is uh, importing the selenium module so if you haven't downloaded this selenium module what you can do you can write this command pip install selenium so this will actually download selenium module in the uh, python Uh, directory so after that from selenium module we are importing web driver after that we are making a new variable driver and we are using that uh, chrome driver that we have downloaded that is chrome driver dot exe so we are importing web driver dot chrome so you can see that we are passing the full address it is located in the same directory so nothing here so after that what we have to do here is that sorry let me just delete all the code here and write one line at a time we want to use the driver variable and invoke this function of get and here i will pass the full address of gmail https www.gmail.com so if i execute the script right now and you will see that it will automatically open gmail.com when i open the script so you can see that it has automatically open gmail.com now what i want i want the xpath address or the name of this so what you can do you can right click this gmail field inspect it and click this icon it will select an element in the page to inspect it just select this and here i want to select this element input field so here we can use of this name parameter you can see the name attribute here so this is a value identifier you just want to copy this so this is same for all browsers from across the world so you just have to copy this so this is a unique field by which we can target so driver dot find element by name so you can see that so in that we can just pass the name identifier and then we can be setting the value what is the email address you can pass here 
I will pass uh, uh, my email address Sharma Gautam 1997 dob at the rate gmail.com that's it after setting the email address now let me just run the script once again close this sorry it is running here so just wait sorry let me run the script again so this will automatically populate this Sharma Gautam all this stuff I don't have to write it so you will see that you, you, you can see that it has automatically written this text here I don't have to write on myself so this is the advantage of it now I want to target the next button here similar fashion I can inspect element and then I can click this button and you will be redirected to this button this is the sorry let me just select this so you can see that this is the next button so now uh, what I want I write I need to right click and then I want to copy the X path you can see that copy X path so just copy it after that we will be finding element by X path so there is a function out there find element by x path so in that I will be copy pasting the x path so there you need to write it in single quotes and after that you need to click it because this is a button so you need to click it so once again if I run this application again uh, script again it will also click the element so it is redirected to gmail now it is writing the email address now it has clicked the element so this is the way by which we can see that now if I want to inspect the password field so click it now you can see that name attribute we can just target the name also this is password so we can again but before that we have to have some weight so to initialize some weight we can uh, set some implicit weight so this is a function this will wait for some time you can pass here 4 so this will wait for some time so that Google will be manipulated that we are a real we are writing by ourselves so after that we will be driver dot find element by class name so in that we will pass here password in order to select the password field then we will be using send keys function here I will write my password Gautam Sharma 123 this is my password now if I write the uh, run the script here so what you will see it will also populate the password field automatically as well so now it is redirected to gmail.com you can see that it has clicked the next button also it has not populated the field password so let me just check what has happened uh, let me run the script again here it has it is being redirected to it is filling the why it is not filling the password field let me check go to this inspect element name is equal to password this needs to let me just check the code once again just wait let me just check the code once again why it is why it was not
this was the overall code here find element by name password dot send keys Gautam Shyama now let me just write uh, run this script here let me check next so now it has populated it the password as well so this is now the last thing that remains is is the next button so the next button uh, which is there here let me just show you this is the next button so for that we will be inspecting element here right click inspect element then we will click this button in the same fashion we will click this so here copy the x path so it has successfully copied now we will write driver dot find element by x path here we will pass the x path so this will be the x path so now if i run the script again now it should work Oh, sorry I am missing the click function so that is why it was not working so now let me just why two browsers windows are opened I don't know now if I run the script I was missing the click function so that is why it was not clicking so now it why let me see it is making sure yes yes now it is now now it is clicking the next element as well so guys we have successfully uh, open gmail.com automatically by using selenium which is present inside python it is a kind of a module which is present so this is uh, very much used for automate automation testing field so thanks very much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much